Well, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you taking the time to tune in and watch my channel. Today, we have another review. It is a digital night vision from Dasoon. This is a model 3182, and we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing of this night vision, but we're not gonna stay in here. We're gonna do the important part, and that is get it out into the field and do some testing. We're gonna take this thing out at night, show you its capabilities, exactly how this unit works, and what the results are if we take photos and videos using this unit. Now, as I mentioned, night vision has come a long way, and I wanna quickly explain what a digital night vision is. Uh, these are considered binoculars, uh, but what this unit will actually do is capture an image, and you'll be viewing through a screen. So you're not gonna physically be looking through a lens. Instead, uh, this unit is gonna be more like a camera. It's gonna capture exactly what you're looking at, and it's gonna display it on an LCD screen for you to look at. It does have a built-in IR, and that's gonna illuminate at night. It runs on the 850 NM light spectrum. Uh, we're gonna get into some more specifications, uh, but first, let's do an unboxing and look what this actual unit looks like. So as I mentioned, it is uh, the Dassoon, uh, and the model number NV3182, and it is a night vision, uh, digital night vision. Uh, here are some more of the specs on the side of it. Uh, if you wanna pause and check all of them out, uh, those are some of the very important specs specific uh, to this model and this brand. Inside here, uh, they actually get an included micro SD card. We have a cleaning lens. We have a user's manual. We have a pairing case with a handle, zipper, Here we have the actual night vision. Looks like it might uh, have a strap included there also for this night vision. So it does indeed have the strap here. Also has a USB cable inside the box. Let's take a closer look at the device itself. Uh, we have different uh, menu and power buttons up top here. Uh, on the side, you have nice grips to hold it. Uh, your straps would attach on either side here. Uh, here is your viewing screen, and that's what you're going to be uh, viewing the picture through. On the bottom, we have a quarter 20 mount. On both sides here, it has a place that looks like it will take uh, three batteries per side, is what it looks like to me. They are AA batteries. On the front of the unit here, uh, you have the IR illuminator, which is right here. And then uh, we have the lens that's actually gonna be picking up uh, what you're gonna be seeing through the screen. And it does have uh, some adjustment there for focus. And you can see uh, far and near. So next I'm gonna be putting some batteries in here. And like I said, we're not gonna stay in here because the true test of this unit is to put it out into the field and really put it to work. So we're gonna be taking this out uh, both daytime and night uh, because this can be used in the daylight and just capturing uh, color, photos, and videos. And it can also then be used at night. And that is uh, the beauty of this unit. So I'm gonna be putting batteries in here. And the next time you see me, we're gonna be out testing this unit. I'm gonna show you sample photos and videos that I get using the Dassoon Digital Night Vision. So I wanted to start out with some daylight sample footage from this unit and although it is a night vision binoculars it absolutely can be used during the daytime and you can take video or photos both daytime and nighttime here's just some landscape scenery a video that i've captured with this night vision here's a groundhog out in the field now this unit has a stationary 3x optical lens that means that cannot be changed optically but it does have a digital zoom and here you can see i'm zooming in I think it has at least five power zoom on the digital. You can see it gets pretty pixelated uh, when you do use the digital zoom. I personally would recommend not using the digital zoom at all, simply relying on that three power optical zoom. Some people may want to use these units for bird watching. Uh, it's nice that you'll be able to capture photos or videos if you prefer while you're bird watching. You do not have to take a photo or video. You can simply view through the viewfinder.
Here's a rabbit having a little bit of fun playing around. And finally, here are some white-tailed deer. These deer are approximately 200 yards away. And again, this is with just the 3X optical lens. Uh, it's fixed. You cannot change the optical zoom, but you can digitally zoom. I think I'm gonna show that just in a second here. I'm gonna start digitally zooming in again. So here I am digitally zooming. Again, you can see uh, it's a dramatic loss of quality of the picture. Uh, I did focus it there, as you can see. The focus works great. Uh, the digital zoom, uh, I would just limit how much digital zoom if you don't want it to get pixelated uh, like you see here in this example. Next, I put this unit to work at nighttime and after all it is a digital night vision. Uh, here is just a general landscape shot again. I was really surprised with how it picked up all the insects. It is a hot summer night here. Uh, the ton of different insects flying around. They really show up well. Here as I scan through the field, uh, there is my ride. Any man-made object or anything with reflective lights on it uh, picks up very well. Here we have white-tailed deer again. Uh, they show up extremely well. This was approximately 150 yards uh, when they started and they actually came walking a little bit closer to me. Here I'm digitally zooming again at night. This is the option if you digitally zoom at night. Uh, this is all the way zoomed in digitally. Uh, this is exactly how it'll look. I'm gonna use the different IR settings now and I'm gonna to toggle down through the different brightnesses. It has seven different settings on your IR brightness and you can set that anywhere from one to seven. And you'll see here as uh, it gets dimmer and dimmer, I'm going the whole way down to the one power. Some people might want to use these units uh, for security reasons. Uh, here's a good demonstration of what a car looks like as it passes by at 100 yards away. Again, here is a vehicle passing at about 100 yards at night. Now you might also wonder if these can be used indoors and because this just has a three power lens, it actually does work surprisingly well indoors. Here is a shot of my studio with all the lights turned out. Uh, you can adjust the focus, that works great. And it actually works surprisingly well indoors. I was surprised with how clear the picture is indoors. Finally, what hunting farmer review wouldn't be complete was showing some of my cattle. Here's some young heifers uh, at approximately 100 yards away out in the pasture. Uh, this works real good if you want to inspect your property or look around in total darkness. Again, here I'm adjusting the IR brightness. Uh, this is down at the lowest setting and then working my way back up to the highest setting on the IR brightness. Uh, I've oftentimes found myself just running it on the brightest setting possible. You've seen the unboxing and exactly what's included with this unit. I've taken it out into the field and I've showed you sample daytime and nighttime videos that I've collected with this unit. It's now time for my final thoughts. I think this Dassun Digital Night Vision is a great entry level for night vision. In my testing, I found it does exactly as it's advertised. It actually performs very well, but it is extremely budget friendly. Like I said, I would consider it an entry level. Uh, you're not gonna compete with units that are four, five, seven hundred dollars. Uh, but for this price tag, it does work, and you can see in the pitch 
black. Now, as you saw in the sample videos that I showed you, uh, from my opinion, you obviously aren't going to win any cinematic awards with it. Uh, the videos are capped at 960 by 1280, uh, so it isn't like a full 1080p HD video. Uh, but you could see what was going on, and if you want to just show your family and friends, uh, or use this at nighttime for yourself to see exactly what's happening, you could do some wildlife observations, of course in a security setting to look around you without giving away uh, your location. Uh, I think all of those ideas this unit would be ideal for. In my opinion, after comparing the daytime and nighttime videos that I collected, I actually think the nighttime videos are better than the daytime. Uh, for most cameras, that's flip-flopped and you almost get better daylight footage, almost always. Uh, but with this unit, the nighttime videos, I think, outperform the daytime. And with it being a digital night vision, uh, that's a great thing. This unit runs on six AA batteries and I found the battery life to be quite well. And in my testing here, I've ran this unit for several hours, not all at the same time, but through different days and over the weeks. And I'm still on the original batteries. It does have a battery life indicator on the screen there, which is extremely handy. I also like the fact that it includes uh, the micro SD card uh, right out of the package. You're ready to go put in batteries. This unit is ready to use. The focus adjustments up here on the front of the unit worked extremely well, very smooth, very easy to get a crisp, clean focus. Uh, I find that a plus on this unit. The menu and setting buttons on the top of this unit here I found very easy to use. A lot of these units are known to have uh, buttons that have two functions, uh, either a long hold or a short hold uh, for almost every button and that can become a little confusing. Uh, this unit's pretty simple, uh, very simplified process. I like that. I already touched on this a bit, but the price tag on this unit, uh, it is very affordable. And to get into night vision at a low cost, just to get your feet wet, so to speak, uh, this is a great option. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description. Uh, you can go down there, check on the most current pricing. Uh, you might be watching this a year or five years from now. So the best place to go is down in the description and check that link to get the exact price but this is definitely a budget friendly unit now if there was going to be any negatives with this unit uh, that i have found it would probably be that digital zoom as you saw in that sample footage anytime you're using that digital zoom it makes the video quality almost unusable uh, it becomes so pixelated that you can barely make out what you're looking at anymore uh, so i would definitely shy away from the digital zoom just forget it's there and don't even worry about that Another negative probably would be the quality of the videos. I think if they would put a little bit better sensor maybe in there, a little bit better camera, a little higher quality lens maybe, uh, you would get some better quality footage. Although you could see in the sample footage I showed you uh, what you're looking at, it's not, definitely not going to be something that you're going to put up on the big screen and marvel at how crystal clear the footage is from this unit. So those were my final thoughts. Lots of pauses with this unit. Again, just keep in mind, uh, you're not going to be competing with the high-end units, and that's just not its place. This is uh, designed and built uh, to get you into night vision, and you can get into it without spending a whole lot of money. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please put them down in the comments section. I'll again, remind you there's going to be a link to this down in the description. There's going to be more information down there. So click that more arrow right below the video here, and that's going to drop down the menu and show you a lot more information about this Dassun Digital Night Vision. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.